so today we'll be talking about vector double ended queue so vector double ended queue is just like a vector uh, you can add more elements to it uh, so here you can see i have created a vector dq uh, variable and if you you can add elements from the front and you can add elements from the back as well so use push front or push back according to your needs you can iterate over it you can get its length using dot len you can clear all the elements using dot clear next is map uh, so map is kind of like a, a dictionary uh, so to create a variable use hash map colon colon new then you can insert key value pair so here we have entered key as string and value is kind of like a tuple first is string second is also string uh, then to get an element uh, at a particular key you can use dot get key name so optional it gives you an optional option variable contains option data type use match to handle it appropriately you can also use unwrap but use it at your own risk as if there is no value in the option the program will panic okay so here you can see i have used unwrap but try to avoid it and here i have tried to use uh, you know uh, i'm checking whether it contains a key or not if it does not then i'm inserting that key if it does then i'm printing out okay flight is already entered then we are talking about set so has set colon colon new uh, inside in that you can enter some data so here we are entering tuple uh, yeah and it is kind of like similar to hash map not exactly similar but kind of similar to hash map and vectors uh, only thing is the ordering in has set is not preserved yeah thank you for watching see you in the next one